understanding of why is entrepreneurship important, but also maybe there's somebody out there right now listening. Maybe they live in a struggling community. Maybe they come from a working class family like yourself. Uh, maybe they only have one parent, you know, uh, maybe it's a high school student or even a young adult, as I mentioned. Uh, what advice would you give them about getting ahead or maybe even about considering being an entrepreneur? Like, what are some of the actionable steps they could take? Mm. Mm. That's a great question, Cisco. Um, so, dream big. Know that you will get knocked down if if and what's interesting is people see all these wins they don't see all the failures right all of the hard work and the struggle and and the and the challenges i will share this one thing i remember so here's the fundamental question with the urban league when i took over i said this is a 100 then it was 109 year old but it's 110 years now i said how do you you make a 110 year 109 year old organization relevant in the 21st century right because if it was doing great some of these chronic problems that we have would be eradicated right so evidently it's not working right so then i remember going to funders and pitching the idea and telling them this new fun integrated guy and you know how many people said no I had well over a hundred proposals that got denied. Wow. Before I got my first proposal accepted and it was only for $5,000. Mind you, I had a $1.2 million cloud hovering over me, man. So what I would say to any entrepreneur is just, it's not going to be easy, but trust me, if you stick with it and you work hard, it will pay off. And, 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 it, and people will see that you've overcome the odds and the obstacles and whatever you're doing, if it's community service, social services like I'm in, then the reward there is the hundreds and thousands of people that you transform their lives, right? Yeah. If you're in business, you still transform people live just through capitalism, right? right? Think about all the hundreds of thousands of people you can employ once your business gets off the ground. Right? Because that's the, that's the beautiful thing about America. And so, yeah, I, we need more entrepreneurs to get out there. Go ahead. Try. If you're young, try, 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 but don't give up. I remember Thomas Edison. It was his 1001 try before he figured out the light bulb. It yeah. was Jackie Robinson that everybody here, um, people don't know that Jackie Robinson had the most strikeouts but people only remember his home runs, right? right? So what I would tell anyone, the best piece of advice, don't give up, keep trying. Keep trying because it will pay off and you will be so happy that you didn't give up. Well, that is excellent advice. You know, Glenn, there's a movie I watched a couple years ago. I don't know if you saw it. I believe you can find it on Netflix now. It's called Walt Before Mickey. Have you seen that movie? <laughs> it's a fantastic film. And in fact, uh, Somebody from Central Florida, Armando Gutierrez, was behind it. I think he's, a, he's actually accident as well. And, uh, but anyway, I saw this. And, you know, we both live in Orlando. Uh, Walt Disney World uh, brings, well, they're, they're part of why 75 million people every year come just to Orlando. I mean, no, number one vacation spot in the world, right? And you see this movie. What's cool about this movie is the entire movie is the young Walt as an artist, as an entrepreneur, failure after failure after failure after failure. And it's so frustrating, right? And he's, he fails for like how many times and his, you know, his, his little thing doesn't get picked up or whatever. And the very end of the movie, it ends with him after the last time being rejected and, and not getting, it ends with him going back to the, to the uh, artwork, to the artboard, and starting to draw what was Mickey Mouse. And that's how the movie ends. And I just gave away the whole movie, but I didn't really, everybody knows the story after Mickey Mouse, right? right so there was right. no need for that movie to continue because we all know the story. And I think about that because, I mean, think about 
I mean, all the millions and millions and millions of lives that are made happier because of what Walt Disney World and Walt Disney Productions and everything produces. Now, what? I mean, 60 years or so, uh, maybe 70, 60, 70 years after Walt drew Mickey Mouse, right? right? Actually, we're going back 90 years. It was like in the 1930s. He created the parks, you know, in the 50s, 60s, 70s. So, um, and just all the businesses that surround that too, not just yep. Walt Disney, right? And, yep. and you think, what if that guy gave up, you know? Right. A lot of happiness, a lot of jobs. Uh, Orlando wouldn't be what it is today, uh, not even close. So, even so close. look, that's a, that's a special story. That's a once, that's a, that's a special once in a lifetime story. But I hope that that story, and, and for those that may go check out that movie, uh, that that inspires them not to give up.